You know, what's interesting about that, Dana, is that she was very close with her mother. Mm -hmm. She was a uh, former competitive figure skater who skated all over the world. Um, And they didn't get her in the first year at Mount Holyoke. They didn't get her in the second year. They got her in the third year. And that's when uh, she, she said she couldn't shrug off uh, what what they were teaching. I mean, this is something that happened to a very intelligent young woman. Yeah, and I, that's why it's gotten us some attention, because you can imagine, imagine being the mom and dad, and you have this amazing daughter who is basically best all around at everything that she does, and a competitive figure skater that skates around the world. That's a very seriously intelligent and strong-willed person, someone who understands a lot of discipline, yeah. who understands routines. and Figure skating? Um, yeah, it's not you that hard. It? Not that hard. Yeah, well, no, we'll, we'll can do, you can draw triple me. lutz. We're yeah. gonna do a triple lutz for uh, Christmas. Are yeah. you gonna be there? Way overrated. Yeah, you don't even need, you don't even need to do it on ice. It's so easy. <laughs> okay, well, maybe in the, maybe for one more thing, we yes. could have you do that. Um, but the, this is something that happened at Mount Holyoke is happening in other places. There's this group called Do No Harm, right. and it's a group of doctors that is trying to push back against what they call woke creep in the medical field because. You have diversity and equity issues that are being taught all throughout medical school. But imagine you're the patient and in a, in a few years you go and now your doctor has been trained in a different way rather than just based on the science. Uh, that's what they're trying to do is to bring a little attention to that.